Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. We've got uh, 31, so probably about 0.5 Celsius. <laughs> Negative. Alrighty, 5, 6, 12. Oh, there goes my coffee. Good thing it's in a thermos. All right, stop at Sheets. I got everything, I think. iPads with me. I'm going to set all that stuff up in the car. At my mom's. My only concern is I have texted her twice and I have not heard from her. And I checked the schedule. Unfortunately, nobody comes in today at 6 till 6 30. Uh, I was going to stop and get my gloves because I left them in the back room. So I guess on my way, when I come home, I'll pick them up. Because I'd really like to have them while I'm home the next two days after this. So I was going to plan on stopping in there anyway tomorrow because I think. Since we got 34 pounds of chili, I think I'm going to get myself, uh, make myself a, a big old thing of chili. So, bring the roaster back down and run up some ground beef or ground turkey and away we go. But I'm going to go buy the packet. I'm going to get the packets. I'm just going to do a three pound. I think that's plenty. And then we can freeze some of it so we have it. Because that'll take a hot minute to eat. I'm just hoping that this comes... The chicken, for some reason, it seems like when we make it with chicken, it does not taste as good. Um, but I don't think we're putting the right amount of seasoning in it either. So, uh, what else did she want to put in there? Oh, green pepper. Hmm, okay. I can add some green pepper tomorrow. It's supposed to actually be somewhat decent tomorrow. Almost 50. Now, today in Lavalette, New Jersey... It is supposed to get up to like 40, but windy. Uh, when I check the weather, that mom, good, okay. Um, it was 30 there. Now they're south of us, southern Jersey, because uh, of Seaside Heights where Jersey Shore was filmed. If anybody's familiar with that, um, the wind made it neg made it 15 degrees. The wind chill of 15, jeez. It's like, oh boy. So I got my beanie, I kinda wanted to have my gloves. I don't have my hand warmers with me, but I don't really think we're gonna be getting out of the car a whole lot. I mean, I might attempt to with, I do have the Sony with me. Um, so I'm ready to go, get some photos, maybe. We'll see. I mean, I can just pull the iPhone out. I did bring the Forden with me as well. So, of course light turns yellow speaking of the sony i might because i went over to dollar tree last night to get gum and licorice and picked us up more seven up thank goodness i did because the canada drive was all gone the seven up was uh running low got four of them and two rcs so she has it to take to work oh crap there goes my battery um <clears throat> when i came around the where all the trucks flip there is a spot if you could pull over that you can get Candy Cane Lane, a photo, a long distance photo of it, which I think would be really neat. Also highly dangerous. Um, now I did message Tim, see if he's willing to go Christmas light searching tomorrow. So he'll drive and I'll have cameras going and whatnot. Um, so tomorrow, I don't know what we're gonna get into, depending on the wind. Maybe, I don't know if Tim and I can get together during the day too or not. I wanted to kind of go up to Dry Run Falls and get some uh, long exposure shots. So that might be a, that might be a thing tomorrow with the pups. I don't know if you can get up the road though. They might have it closed, and then you'd have to walk the X amount of miles. But I need the exercise anyway. We'll see. Alrighty, guys. Well, we are on the road. About half, almost halfway. We're almost to the water gap. So we're making way.
Let's get a quick little look at the beach here. I have the Sony with me. See if I can get some waves crashing. Looks like uh, I can run it about 16400, so I should be able to get some waves crashing. But at least I have microphones this year with the camera, which you didn't have last year. Because that was stupid. I didn't go in the house. Seagulls. Hmm. Well, if I don't get waves crashing, I'm going to try to get seagulls. Oh, that one was... Ooh. That sound is kind of blinding. All right, well, now we had a pretty decent trip. Uh, four hours, pretty much on the nose. That was with a stop, and we didn't exactly follow series directions. We went mom's way, so... Sorry. Trying to get a seagull. I'll try to go where they're not here. I do hear the waves crashing, so maybe I can catch something here. Told mom I forgot my bathing suit. She's like, uh, I don't think you want to do that. Oh, I wish I could see right now. There was one flying. Yeah, I can't see. The sun's in the wrong spot. Not as breezy as it was last year either. <clears throat> Here is bad. Waves are small today. Might have got that one. I might actually have to slow it down a little bit for zoom. Is that your bagel? Yeah? before I was distracted. No, we made a really good time. It was not a bad trip. Um, Jersey Mike's for lunch, much better than the one at home. Although they did make my aunt and uncle's sandwich wrong. They made mine right. <laughs> so, and with my normal roast beef. So, spend a little bit of visiting time here and then we'll get back on the road. I don't know if there's any other places I want to stop on my way out, but we'll find out. We'll see.
I'm just getting ready to leave. Yeah, this is where many, a lot of vacations were spent during my childhood. So, a cute little house. <laughs> was telling me there's a couple things he wish he would have done over the last couple years, but he didn't do them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Michael, if you're watching, my brother Michael, it'll be familiar for you. So, all right, just getting ready to probably head out of here because it's uh, 2.02. That gets me home right around six o'clock because it was four hours to get here. So barring no problems with traffic should be about six o'clock when I get home. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit on the road. All right, we are on our way home. It is 20 after two. It's telling me I'll be home about 616. Of course, I'm going, I'm fighting with GPS already on the way out. Need to find a gas station and fill up. Preferably an Exxon, but I don't think there was one. So whatever. Just gonna get gas and uh, get myself moving back home because I can go 130 miles. E. I don't know where that would put me. Probably putting me in the middle of no man's land. I average 35.1 coming in, so that's not too bad. 291 miles right now. It's 257 home. For some reason, the GPS was trying to send me the opposite direction. I don't know where the hell it was sending me to, so. I'm not following that direction. <laughs> All right, I'm having a little bit of an issue here with the camera and the charger. I don't know. It keeps pinging that it's charging. I don't know why, but whatever. Everything is on and lit up. I don't get what it's doing. All right, coming up to the bridge here. Get up and over it, and then, uh, I think... Maybe not yet. Alrighty, here we go. Need one more turn before I get to the bridge. It looks really windy when you're when you're out and about. At least over here, it seems like it's way windier than it was over by my aunt and uncle's and by the by the uh, beach there. So, all right, Tom's River Bridge. The other side is actually a. Is it a drawbridge? And this side is just really tall. So get over this bad boy and we are trip is started. So funny thing about the state of New Jersey is that you are not allowed to pump your own gas. Attendants have to do it. So I get to sit here and wait. I'm at Speedy's. I couldn't find an Exxon. So I don't know. I might. I think the one in. I'll just top it off at home. I hit my. I wasn't gonna hit my tours well. I'd have to backtrack, but I might do it anyway. Or come off and just take the longer route coming home. I don't know. But definitely need fuel because 120 miles was not going to get me home on a 250 mile trip. All right, we're full of fuel. All right, we are officially on the road again. I think this is the last gas station before you get back on freaking highway, too. And the plaza is in the middle of the, of the turnpike. Woo -hoo -hoo, do you pay out the, you know, what? two ninety one for regular? I'm not really sure what the hell I just paid. Didn't seem like it took a whole lot. We took like thirty two something. I thought. I don't know. My bank will tell me. Got my card right? Yeah, I see it. Okay. All right, back to navigation and uh, make our way home. Well, I did go through I, the 47 photos I magically took on, at the beach. Um, I don't. Th I think it was half that, but raw JPEG, um, which is still an odd number. It should have been like 48. But nonetheless, all but one came out. One was blurry. The rest of them, I got some really cool ass pictures of seagulls. You'll see. 
If you haven't already seen them, I might just stick them in where they belong in the timeline, but I'm kind of proud of those photos. There was some, there was some, mainly it was shutter speed. I had the f-stop all the way down. After I got back to, you know, back to the house and sent them to Mike after I edited them, he's like, oh, maybe you could use an ND filter. Like, too late now, dude. <laughs> you told me no, so I didn't take it with me. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is literally the last gas station before you turn off this. Wow. Okay. Uh, next one. Where everybody's going super freaking slow. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. It's been a, it, I mean, it's, it's been a year since we've been down here. And I mean, I used to make this trip every July, on my vacation, enjoy a day at the beach. Not no more. Plazas here, you gotta watch because they are super expensive. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Three, eh, 306 still ain't that bad compared to what we're paying at home. It's still affordable. Sure. All right, we're almost, I think, to the uh, Perth Amboy Bridge. I think we're about two and a half miles away. And uh, uh, I'm already getting tired. <laughs> Not a 
pretty good warning system there, that's for sure. Pennsylvania we're halfway through the trip we just passed it 129.5 miles is halfway I love the architecture of this railroad bridge I've captured it before but I think we're gonna back off a little bit here we're gonna go down to two lanes that the speed limit has dropped so <clears throat> alrighty should be a matter of 3.7 miles and we will be crossing Delaware Water Gap back into Pennsylvania. hour and 55 minute ride home yet. Joy, joy. Well, so much for gaining any time. I think I actually lost two minutes somewhere. Oh well, we're back up to full speed now. I'm on the fence of whether I want to stop and fill this thing up in Montoursville and then hit the bank or just go the other way and I'd have to fill it up tomorrow at some point which means I'd have to put all the stuff for the dogs back in here and I really kind of don't want to do that even though I'm going to have to for the for the thing oh she did wash their blankets and stuff so it's not it'll be clean all right I suppose. I gotta get a different blanket out for Mateo because his didn't go in to get washed. Oh, my ears just popped. We are going up a very, very long hill. I did, at least I thought I saw some snow flying across the, like they might have gotten some flurries here. This is the section I'm most concerned about with this whole trip because you just never know when all of a sudden they're gonna get dumped on. So, fingers crossed. No snow tonight. It is down to 32 degrees. We had 43 down there in Seaside Heights, Lava Lab. So that's quite the temperature swing. Every so often I realize I'm reaching over and putting a little more heat up and I look down and it's it dropped five degrees since the last time I looked. It's been a decent trip. I mean only a only a handful of idiots. I had one a couple a few minutes ago, but rider truck that decided that he thought he could use his lane and my lane as I'm coming by him and a Jeep that decided to try to pin me into a Walmart truck then I took off on him that pissed him off so he blew back by me when I moved over but if you see someone coming up on someone you have the opportunity let them let them in let them go if they think they're going to but overall I think we're making pretty good progress here it says an hour and 40 minutes, 105 miles left. You know, so about 259 round trip. It's 
it's a decent and it's only four hours because the speed limits change now it's much quicker than it used to be because it's used oh dude you know you have a trailer on there that you got to pass people with too asshole oh come on one two three spin around yeah this moron just try to take someone's nose off with his trailer because you know he tried to just move his truck over and they don't even have their freaking lights on no wonder Oh, there's always something out here. Okay, 202 miles since Philip, but I've been in the car even longer than that. I'm about two and a half hours, I think. Wait, three and a half hours. It's after five, it's 5.30. Yeah, three and a half hours. All right, potty break done. Back on the road. Woo! <laughs> I was needed. My bladder's like, dude, you need to do something there. <laughs> I had a cup of coffee and a beer there with my sandwich. So I'm going to have more of a sandwich because I got a, a regular waiting at the hokey shop. Hopefully they don't make it in for a little bit yet. I told her, so tell them I won't be there till 630. And we are 59 minutes away from home, so that should be perfect. Perfect. <laughs>